would be initial part of a process, really analyze and look at every part of the process and make these very detailed orientated recommendations, um, which we're, we're still trying to implement to this day, but you know, it's, they're, they're still been, you know, incredibly insightful. Um, and, you know, we're going to, we're going to be continuously working with Zemel in the future uh, for that reason as well. He's obsessed with smart goals and, uh, you know, it's something that we, um, you know, we've, we've also been using within Strongroom, but, you know, Zemil's obviously a little bit more experienced than we are in, in, in creating those things. And I think that's something that we've been able to articulate now in terms of how we implement and engage with customers. And we want him to continuously just get that, um, you know, refine our process, become more efficient, um, make sure our, our solutions become more easy to use. So with this initial engagement we've had with Submill, it's all a, it's been all about, you know, refining, you know, we're, we're ninety five percent there of our product, but getting the next five percent to make sure that we're building not just a good but a great product. So I think that's how, you know, that's been and an example of that I can really talk to uh, how Zemil has, you know, changed up things has really been our onboarding process with customers, for example. We had not the greatest one. We had friendly staff, but, you know, there definitely needed to be more training to be addressed. And that's something that Zemil revealed. And that's where we've been really focusing on more training for, um, you know, for our staff and making sure that we tighten up some of the looser ends as well. You know, what we've seen within our space has really been, um, you know, we've had this mission and, you know, we we didn't quite have the vision in place. Uh, engaging Zamil, it's really helped us get the, uh, you know, get the purpose of, of, of what we're building more crystallized. And as a result, it's uh, definitely strengthened how, you know, how and where our product is going in the future. It's also, you know, reminded me on many occasions continuously focus on the patient because it's very easy to be obsessed with operational efficiency. But, you know, another thing that's even more important, but the patient gets forgotten um, is, you know, patient outcomes. So I think that's really what's driving it. With the marketing and sales, I think that leads on to a very strong product, which ultimately, you know, comes from the vision. So, you know, that's been followed on later on and, you know, unintentionally this year, you know, we've had very, well, of course it's intentional, but, you know, we haven't put out too much marketing and sales efforts uh, yet. And we've been still seeing dramatic, dramatic growth and we expect that to continuously happen. So I think that's really been part of, um, you know, Samil's played a big role in that.